And we are back. Are we? Are we in the back now? Are we okay, we're back. Right. So you walk through the door. I, I listened at the door f before. You walked through the door already. Through the door. I walked through the door and listened. Nothing happens. Okay. Do I hear anything? No. Hmm. Other than noise from outside. Hmm. Bum? Yeah, when Richard goes, um, it's time to panic a little bit. <laughs> it's not Richard going up, um, or producer going up. It's both producer going up. Us. Okay. Well, what's the producer going up about? I uh, one sec. Uh, we'll be back. Oh, no, we're good. All right. <laughs> Twitch is just being weird. What? <laughs> All good. We're back. Remember, there's a delay. Yes. So. You walk through the door. I walk through the door. Nothing happens. I look around. As you left it. Hmm. Alright, so... So... You want to have a bit of a peek around, did you? Well, I think we should investigate the area in its entirety before we... Like, how much time is it until noon? Five minutes. Alright, let's go down to the vault. Uh, but first, let's lock the entrances. Well, I don't know about the one entrance. I haven't done like a walk through this house. Why don't I head down to the vault? And you take a walk around. Alright, so I'm gonna lock the front door behind me. Okay. And I am going to uh, barricade it. Is there a lock or is it just like a crossbar? There's a lock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lock it, uh, barricade it, uh, shove a table or something close it's by. It's a hallway. Okay, is there not a table in the hallway? Sure, you just put a small table <laughs> up against it. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there any bookshelves or anything like that? Or? Uh, no, not particularly. Is there anything heavy and weighted that can go in front of this door? No, just rip the plank off the wall. But you, there's a bar that drops down, so... Oh, okay, cool. I'll put the bar down as well. Uh, then I'm gonna run to the back of the house. Because I'm seeing if this is a hallway, obviously it's there's gonna be a back of the place. Is there any doors back there as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll lock that if there's a bar. Yeah, funny. I'll lock that. As, as you run through, you realize that someone's already looted the place. Oh, not surprised. <laughs> um, huh. Like, all the so. drawers are pulled out of the cupboard, and like, cupboards are opened, and like, things are smashed on the floor, you know, someone's, um, someone's kind of gone through and looted all, probably the old valuables. Yeah, makes sense. That uh, definitely makes sense, yeah. Uh, so that... I head to the stairs. After I'm done running to the back, I run back to you. You head downstairs. I head to the stairs. Oh, and you head to the stairs. I look down. Is it dark? Yes. I like. Do I have a torch left over from that night? No. Wizard. Do you have torches? I don't think. Yeah, you have yeah, wizard light. You have wizard light. Yes. Yep. Uh, four degrees of success. It's fine. It's simple. Right. You have wizard light. Yeah. You proceed downwards. You proceed downwards. Are there bodies still there? Uh, yes. Hmm. They probably smell really bad now. Well, it's only been a day. Yeah. I, head over, I head over to <laughs> the mountains. I head over to the one of the doors and like... All of their weapons are gone though. Well, didn't we take them all? No, I took, I took one axe. I took one axe from Silverbeard. Yeah. How's he looking? Is he still at the top of the stairs? Uh, yeah, but his mouth is kind of prized open. Oh, he had gold teeth. That's nice to know. It doesn't anymore. Oh, well then. All well, right. That was, was not an asterisk. That was not an option that Gustav would have taken anyway. So we didn't lose that. Anything there. Yeah, and it's every, like his jewelry is gone. And... I um, I I open one of the side doors and uh, peek down. Yeah, it just leads into another corridor and then leads up. Both sides, they're both empty. Yeah. Okay. I head over to the vault. Go ahead. 
Gustav Key. Hello? Key. Put I, the key I, in the I, hole. I, I take a key, put in the hole, I put my key in the hole. I, I think it's about the right time. Alright, let's try it. a clunk from inside. I turn the key. Turn the key, that's more clunks. Does the door it's begin to open? Begins to open, yeah. Hello, we're here to help you. Are you guys alright? There's a, a peek behind around the corner. Dead merchant. Oi! I, for one, am shocked at this all turn over the floor. <laughs> I could not have possibly foreseen this grisly sight that we have encountered today. Oi, they're dead! They seem to have bled out. What a fucking surprise. <laughs> <laughs> not surprised at all. Push! Push quail! Fit back in. <laughs> Stop. What? What do I do? <laughs> Shy away from you. Alright, <laughs> so what's in the vault? Yeah. Um. The okay. chest. And what else? Uh, numerous other chests that are locked. Okay. Like their chest is still on the table. Still open. Well, it's not open anymore. They broke the some of the gold is scattered around the place. Oh, I pick up some of that gold. Yeah. Yeah, I, I head into the room. I head into the room and we like. I know oh, it would be a shame to allow these gold coins to go to waste. Well, various. Um, I I say quite loudly. Watch your step. The other dwarf did something to cause the vault to close. So maybe we should have one person wait outside. Oh yes, one of us waits outside while the other two go and get all the gold, is that it? Well, as long as I get a fair share, I'll wait outside. There's a... Uh, Gustav, you are a kind and trustworthy friend. I will gladly share this with you. Excellent! I walk towards the entrance. Hold first. on, there's very smaller doors on the walls in here. <laughs> At the risk of, uh, <laughs> with, uh... Just to bring back a... Uh, them. Bring back an old really? on, uh, this promise here. <laughs> I'm a humble man. I know there's a hundred gold coins in there. I'm not a, <laughs> yeah. I'm not a math magician, but I can. I can right, so I'm entitled to a map. So there's other doors well, in the two vault. And there oh, a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right, can we see into them or are they like solid? They're solid. Oh, check the merchants. See if they have any keys and valuables on them. Is there any dwarves in here? No. And Silverbeard is upstairs. Yeah, he's, he's dead. Alright, so up. I think. And the other dead dwarves have their, like. thing looted. Yeah. Man, dwarves are bastards. Right? Mm. Alright, well, so. Dwarven criminals are, yeah. Let's pick up the gold. And then. Do we want, how much time do we really want to be in here? Because remember, this is an automatic safe, so we'll eventually close. Yeah, so let's be quick. All right, let's grab the chest, the chest, the primary chest, and two of the other chests, and each one of us carries one. Ho, 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 ho. So you pick up the, like, you get, like, the, the primary chest, two of you have to, like, lift between you. Okay. okay. All right. The other smaller chests yeah. around the place, you're just like, Another okay, toss it aside. This still is a nice, no, still a nice chest. It's, yeah. it's, it probably is an expensive chest. All right, let's just let's just take this chest and leave. Oh no, no, get the the bodies of the merchants. We need a proper burial. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, we're not wasting our time with you. No. And we're gonna go up the back entrance. Well, with this entire chest to go. Wouldn't you rather fill some small pouches and such and leave the big chest here? I mean, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, so... Ha! <laughs> Who's not has this one smart moment? <laughs> Alright, so I have my... Ghost off, criminal, and fire begin. Yeah, this, that was it. That was, right. that was the turn. So, how, so, do we have... Uh, do we need to make a wolf to see how much gold we get out of this? Or it's 100 gold crowns. Or we get 100 gold crowns. You get 100 gold crowns. Excellent. I so like this is gold a piece. this entire session is me waiting for the other shoe to drop. That's what this is. This is like something bad's gonna happen. Of course, something, something bad's, bad's gonna happen. Um, yeah, 
can I, like, once they get the, the chip, can I search the merchants and just go over their bodies? Like, do they have it? Yeah, they have it all on them. Do they have? They have, um, between them they have a total of uh, 17 silver shillings. I will, don't worry, take that 17. <laughs> we are prepared <laughs> silver. for silver now. I will take that 17 silver, um, but I'm looking primarily for other things, papers, no. uh, badges, anything identifying them, keys, do they have other keys on them? They literally showed up here with 17 silver in their pockets and nothing but the clothes on their backs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take- It's almost like they're poor, down on their luck. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Poor, down on their- Good stuff. Wait a second. Oh, sorry. It appears my conspiracy brain is speaking again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the merchants don't have anything on them. They uh, was, was, was just, they got, they got this pocket change. And no, no papers, no identification. Leave the change. What? Leave it. You're trying to put your shoe back on. But it's good silver. Something's not right. Yeah, they're dead. They're also poor. That. They're poor. These are merchants. They had 17 silver on them. Okay, the poor. They're poor amongst the merchant class. I'm all, all right. <laughs> I'm Besides, out. you always have to leave, leave coins for death. Well, I ain't never heard of that, but whatever. I, uh, I think the more curious question is, why are all these poor merchants who can be cashed in on this investment? And the other important question I take 17 is, silver why is this vault primarily empty? It's almost as if this entire incident was staged. A bruise. Indeed. I, I think I, we need to get out of here. I dumped the 17 silver back on the bodies like- I'm, I'm just walking it. backwards. <laughs> Uh oh. Back door! Uh, hold on. Back door. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, draw my weapon. I've got mine ready. The front door is a knocking. I fill. <laughs> I grab a handful of gold, whatever I can. You can already separate with gold. Okay, good. Yeah, we, I, have, we, have, we, have, we each have 33, gold. and we have the one for Redbeard. Yes. That's the last <laughs> one. <laughs> I grab the keys from the vault. Okay. And then. Why are you grabbing the keys? Throw Excuse the me. keys inside the vault. Throw the keys inside the vault. And let's close the vault door now. I don't waste time trying to push on that door. I just go, uh, maybe we should get out. Yeah, it's a case of like... It, it doesn't work. All right, so through the side entrances, we'll take the one on the right. That leads up the back. Well, maybe we should see it. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your way of saying we get the right of way? <laughs> Yes, so we could, I'm, I'm heading towards the, <laughs> through the back, I'm heading towards the back door. Okay, yeah. I'll follow the back door. Alright. What's in the back door? You guys. What's outside, outside the back door? The back door. Yeah, we'll follow. Yeah, straight. Yeah, it's the other Yeah, let's, let's walk down the street and take a very long path around. Exhumed. Pursued by bear. Yeah. Sure. I, I'm, I'm sitting there like, we didn't do nothing wrong, but fine. Are you, uh, heading back to your, uh, part? Hell no! <laughs> All you hear is, <laughs> is we're running by. Yeah, let's go spend this immediately. No. Uh, we need to... Freeze Rudy's ball? We need to... I need to buy a bow. <laughs> you need to what? By a boat. Is there a bank anywhere nearby? Well, there's one bowl. The, the car stands have a bank. I mean, I know where they are. We, 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 was, we was told about a bank off in the, the merchant's quarters, uh, yes. right where our lawyer lives. That's a good thought. We should she go pay her lawyer. something. Go to our lawyer. I may not trust lawyers, but I think this is a situation where we require a lawyer. Yeah, let's go talk to Miss Osana. Yeah. So we're gonna head to Miss Osana's place. 
It's in the East End, uh, right next to Morganzoid's Money, in the Merchant Quarter. I love notes. Anyway. Okay. Uh, is she there? I don't know. I don't know if we make it there unmolested. You make it there unmolested. You're the watch. Who's gonna mess with the watch? I don't know. Whoever was banging on that door in the basement. Who was banging on the door? It was, that was the front door. We're never gonna know. <laughs> never ever gonna find out. That's probably a better thing. I mean, I would have answered. You know what? <laughs> yeah. Let's do the reasonable thing and completely abandon this plot hook. Just go back to town with everybody. No, no, no. We go to <laughs> the lawyer first. Uh, sure, you go to the lawyer. Wait, well, well, is she there? To the merchant court, you said, yeah? Yeah, the merchant yeah. court. Yeah. The East, uh, end. Uh, East End. Next to Morgan's Eye's money. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll go. Yep, go. Cool, yeah, it's the other side of the market. Alright. Which means you have to go through the market with a pack full of money. This seems like a terrible idea. Huddle up, watch bands. <laughs> Start looking um, for So it. I'm going to take my pouch and put it underneath my jerkin and secure my sash around my jerkin. So Good sir, it appears you've gained a considerable amount of weight in the that last few You get to the lawyer. That sounds like a good idea. I'm going to shove my, some coins in my boots. You get to the lawyer. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do I have my money when I'm I I'm just there? holding it in a sack that goes like, I dare you! I dare all of you! <laughs> uh, yes. Alright. Hello. So here's the situation. We are in quite the pickle. Oh, I don't think so. I'm the richest I've ever been. And there is our pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a moment to talk to us? Lawyer to, I hate saying this, client. I'm gonna have to make it cool. You got a problem with lawyers. <laughs> 19, yes. <laughs> well, I, I can talk to her if you don't. Oh, I don't really know why we need a lawyer. We need nothing at all. Well, we did it. So I lay up the entire situation of what has happened to her. Okay. And I ask her what her suggestion is. Her suggestion is... Um... Put it somewhere safe. Pardon? Put it somewhere safe. Such as the bank. Well... Cool. Well, you could put it in the bank, but you need to fill out all these forms and well, here's a have people vouch for you and have proof of identity and you're wanted. You're you're you were convicted for a crime, which means you can't open the account. I don't want to be a stick in the mud, but isn't some of this money in Mr. Moinbots? Mr. Sorry, Mr. Who? Wasn't there. The merchant, the one who originally talked to us. Yeah, but he wasn't there for the transaction. Yeah, isn't that suspicious? That's true. Uh, I'm sorry, what is your name again? I forget. Tom Gustav, nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> the lawyer's name. Her name is Osana. Osana, Osana Windiness. Miss Windiness. Yeah. I assume that as a officer of the court, you are bound by certain legalities and privileges that. I think he's asking if we could maybe bribe a judge to get out of this whole three years thing. Two years thing. You know a way to make that happen? Oof, Jesus. Well, good By luck. Sigmar's balls! She can't talk about anything that we say here. She is our lawyer. I feel like there's no... That's not a thing. That's not a thing. <laughs> lawyer and client privilege does not exist in the world. Damn it! <laughs> now, with the high court gonna come down? No, there's, there's a... a there's, there's a reason my character just started cursing as soon as he said that. Fair enough. I'm relying so on the engine just like that's not a thing. I'm relying on the But we put a certain value of trust in you to, to, keep, yeah. to keep the stuff that we tell you. But if the witch hunters start torturing me, well, obviously, if the witch hunters start torturing you, you'd spill your 
got stuck in a little baby. You got a lot of babies, have you? Shut up. It's just some weird turn of phrase, it's all I'm saying. So, I rely on the goodwill of the Karstens. Baby guts, baby guts, baby guts. <laughs> However, I will say if you don't want to go through the paperwork and etc., you can store your money here. And it can be. It'll be safe for you. And we have your word on that. I don't think we have much else to go on here. Well, it was one uneven piece ago. Why? Well, let's give it to her. Pay for services. Uh, your services are paid for. Oh, that reminds me. We need to. We need to. We need to send some flowers to the costers. They were very nice to us. Indeed. Perhaps the costers will help us in this scenario. Maybe we can take our money and invest it with that. Invest? Was yeah, that? I think the Karstens, well, they owe you. They're not going to let you onto their plans. But they will let you onto their plans, right? Yeah. Yes. All right, chaps, what are we doing? Do we leave the money here, or do we go to the marketplace and splurge? I'm probably going to want to take at least some of this gold and go buy a bow and arrows. Because, again, broke my goddamn bow and arrows right before we got to town. Apparently. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? <laughs> that last hunt was a, was a strong one. The very final arrow I fired broke my bow. Apparently. All right. Yeah, I want I want enough money to buy a boat. What I'm going to need a new suit of armor. I am going to keep seven gold crowns and give the rest in trust to her. That is what I need. I will return shortly to let you know how much I can give you in trust. Spending spree, spending spree, spending spree. <laughs> I'll I'll give her um, twenty three gold. So you currently have seven. seven. You currently have ten. You currently have thirty-three. Yeah. Okay. Blacksmith, I require a suit of armor. <laughs> One fully formed to a uh, physique as unique as mine. I worked this out earlier. <laughs> How much a suit of plate costs. <laughs> So, if I've done all of my math correct... Yeah, which you probably aren't. Uh, <laughs> so, 8 silver, 8 silver shillings, 18 silver shillings, uh, 5 gold, 10 silver shillings, and 10 silver shillings gets me a crossbow, 10 bolts, a nap, a skull cap, and a set of manacles. Oh, I have no idea. I just wanted to buy a bow. <laughs> and then what I have left over will be new, uh, the jerkin and the foil plate, etc. Sure. Or the, not the jerkin, the jacks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You want a jack, not a jerkin? Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll... Because it's. Yes. And then I will discard the jack, the jerkin. However, let's see if it's all available. Yes. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go to the marketplace. It's midday. Yeah. And you're right next door to the market. Yeah. Wanna go buy it? So the crossbow is a uh, common, so it's available. Bolts are available, common, yeah. The only, is, the only one I think that was, uh, I think was the man one. And I think that was scarce, if I remember correctly. It's available. Excellent. You wish to buy a bow? I do. You wish to buy a bow. So that's fine. It's available, it's common. So it's four gold crowns. Oh, I would like to haggle with that person. Whoever I'm talking to. Sure. Uh, one success. 
One success, okay, you haggle. Um, what? So you reduce it by 10%. 10%? 4 gold crowns and what's what? So 4 gold crowns is uh, 80 uh, silver shillings. So it goes down to 70 less. So it, it becomes. Three gold crown sixteen. Three gold crown sixteen. I pay that. Um, oh yeah. Also, uh, press your character check. Second, okay. please. What no, no, no. Let me finish the map. Yeah. Need to remove sixteen silver shillings. Um. So yes, your rainbow. Yes. Please exchange. Please remove the word bow under rainbow. And write range sling. Range sling, I think. It's in the Arata. You get bow and it's level to the sling. Gotcha. Alright, perfect. So you can use a sling and you can't use a bow. Gotcha. Uh, and then we'll take off. A new, which is a suit of plate armor. About 30 gold. Well, 30. Uh, I have it right here, actually. Uh, do you want so. There's a breastplate which is 10 gold, the open helm is 2 gold, the bracers are 8 gold, the plate leggings are 10 gold, and the helm is 3 gold. Uh, uh, the only thing that's common is the, the open helm. Everything else is either rare or scarce. Yeah. Well, I'm here to master to make a change. Sure. I will, uh, I will convert two of my gold crowns into silver shillings. So, like, yeah, a uh, breastplate. It's available. Yeah. Okay. Um, or do you want a chain? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Like okay. Like hmm. You, know, you can layer as well. Uh, so you can buy chain and then put. Um, Play I think the important question is, are you going to have it with sculpted nipples? However, you cannot wear leather. Okay. Um, because you are not a uh, amber wizard, no. so therefore... Um, no, I am, uh, I am a... Uh, I am a... Uh, oh, okay. balls. <laughs> Chain uh, without suffering while still being able to cast spells. Amber wizards can cast spells in leather armor. Other than those two, wizards can wear armor. It interferes with their spells. Oh, I, I need to sorry. sorry. How many, how many silver shells is it for a gold crown? Twenty shells. Twenty. I need to buy some arrows. This place sells bows. I will. I will begin with the breastplate. Well, do you wish to? So, a. Um, let's see. Uh, the um, body legs. So, if you want a full suit of um, chain, which is the same armor. That's two points of armor. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, that would be five gold crowns. All right, sure. I'll do a full set of chains to start. All right. Uh, and it is available. Okay. A full suit of heavy armor is not available. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? What's going on here? Pencil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I have done... Need to articulate. Yeah. I owe... Uh, do you wish to haggle? Sure. What is haggle under, like, how it's is just a skill. skill That's right? skill. Haggle. But it's a pose. Okay. Alright, let's do this. 53. Two degrees of failure. <laughs> and so you failed that haggle. Yep. Uh, 37, which is par. So you failed that. Okay. 
If you win the haggle, then you get 10% off. Okay. If you get an exceptional success, so six successes, yeah. you get 20%. Wow. Alright, so then I am spending seven gold crowns and 17 silver shells. You're spending five gold crowns. Uh, so, you suffer. Um, you suffer? <laughs> you suffer? Just, yeah. just leave the sentence of that. Yeah, you, you suffer. suffer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Minus 10 perception. Okay. So your perception is lower by 10% while well, we're in the chain. While well, we're in the chain coin. You suffer minus 10 to your stealth. Alright. But you have two points of armor on all locations. That's heavy? Jeez. No, this is. Yeah. This well, is that's the chain. Okay. Yeah. Uh, heavy is. Um, also, two points of armor in total locations. Hmm. But you can stack armor. Oh, okay. So you can put leather under chain, under plate. Hmm. However, the encumbrance would be all. Is this in yards distance or feet? Huh? It's in yards. It's in yards? Yeah. Uh, can I buy some arrows? Yeah, sure. Can I? Arrows are common. Can I haggle? Uh, sure. Ooh, no successes. Oh. No successes. Alright, okay. what uh, are arrows? What are arrows going to cost me for something? Yeah, it's commanded. So you win the haggle. Cool. Uh, how many arrows do you want? There are five shillings. For 12. I will take. Uh, so one gold crown would get you 48 arrows. I will take 48 arrows. Um, and I'll spend that. Please note that uh, both arrows and bolts have impale. Ooh. So do we put that under our weapons? Yeah, under your weapons, okay. under quality. They have impale. Um, which means that they score a critical hit on any number divisible by 10. Oh. As well as any double. Wally, you have money, Mr. Wizard. Oh. 
You, you don't really need anything for your next rank. Mm -hmm. Other than the license. Okay. Hey, Richard. You buy some How would I go about license? acquiring any license? Did you buy some new pants, Richard? I'm using it. I guess. Okay. <laughs> Time to go take my law exam. So, <laughs> no, it's <laughs> like uh, a And. Uh, what protection does leather armor give you, by the way? Oh, uh, what? One? In each location? Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'll take it. Does it have any uh, negative effects? Like. Okay. Leather is gone. Benefit leather. And what are the leather. What are the uh, lower body coverings for leather called? Are they called chaps? Leggings. Leggings? Yeah. Fine. That's not bad. Oh wait, this has a weakness, doesn't it? Or... What, leather? No, my breast, my leather breastplate. Yeah, does it have any, it does it have breastplate? Yes. How's our quality? Yeah, we Oh, you, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but I've got a royal iron's plate. Pardon? You got a boiled leather breastplate. By a boiled leather breastplate? Yeah, it's like a yeah. solid leather breastplate as opposed to. as opposed to more solid yeah. armor. Yeah, and it stacks with my soft armor. Oh. Because you don't suffer uh, the penalties from the under. from leather armor that you would with the other ones. Oh. Um, however, you cannot wear a breastplate, a boiled leather breastplate, and a male coat at the same time. I don't have a male or male shirt. Yeah. Can I? Can I? I can buy a male shirt. Yep. It costs two gold crowns. Oh. Uh, they're scarce and they have an encumbrance of two. No, I don't want to add eight key of two. It is flexible though. Which means you can wear a plate. Yeah. Uh, also, where any male or plate confers a penalty of minus ten stealth. I'm, I'm good with, I'm, I'm, I'm out with hunting deer and shit, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Um, and if you're both male and plate, then it's a minus 20 stuff. Hmm. Well, uh, oh, I have to erase this troll coin purse for my belongings. So, so I don't see, where are shields purposed? They're under weapons. Are they under weapons? Okay. Yep, yeah, they're a basic weapon. Uh, I go to find some rare meats and uh, try fried rabbit on a stick or something. You put that a lot. Oh, so, I'm gonna try something different. Are there any other meats? Probably. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go around and, uh, and spend some money on that. So, okay. buckler is the one that fits on the wrist, right? Yep. Okay. Is that gonna have an encumbrance value? Uh, it does yep. not have an encumbrance value. No, it does not. Okay. I'm gonna I have. A, uh, why won't you buy it? <laughs> I mean, my entire my entire purpose is if we did survive getting those gold coins was to buy trappings for my next level. Ah, yes. I'm just trying to buy trappings to help me live. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what's a what's a buckler do? Because I see an empty slot on my armor points sheet that doesn't have any numbers in it. I'd like to put numbers on it. Shield. Shield. Yeah. Yeah. Does it require skill to use like a basic weapon? Okay. Can I what does Hardy do? Isn't that a talent? It gives you more wounds. Hardy is a talent. It does the following. Hardy, uh, you gain a permanent addition to your wounds equal to your toughness points. Oh, okay. No, you can. I thought you said you could take Hardy up to the, the up to your toughness bonus, like a number of times equal to your toughness bonus. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, it gives you plus one wound, sorry. Okay. Um, it has, it's a max of toughness bonus. Yeah. I have, I have Hardy as one of my class skills. So. Yep. Yeah. Well, no, the reason why I ask is because it's on wounds, the thing. Yeah. So SB is strength bonus. Yeah. And toughness bonus times Q. It's just a. What is WP? Willpower bonus. Yeah, it's power. just how you calculate your wounds. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the numbers that go into it. Uh, hunter, 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 there's a hunter. 
So you need a bow with arrows. Yep. Sling. Grab with uh, ammunition. Ammunition. Your tarpons for the next one are like backpack, bedroll, and tent. My my. Backpack, bedroll, and scent. Yeah, also not particularly hard for you to get. No, not really. <laughs> and then the one after that is a riding horse with saddle and tack no, and a kennel of hunting dogs. That's not happening anytime soon. Um, but I, I can I can attempt to buy a riding horse is like forty odd gold. I, I can attempt to buy a backpack, can't I? You should have. Maybe not. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. Sure. What's a backpack cost? I don't know. Sweet. So you spend. You buy some stuff. Yep. Waste much of our sleeping time doing this. Yeah. Waste much of your sleeping time. You probably go home and sleep. And uh, several days pass. In, uh... I can buy a bucket. So. Ah. <laughs> uh. A few days later, after breaking up a brawl, a large, heavy set woman in her late forties approaches you. Is it that woman with the fancy glass? No. Oh. This one is um, dressed in leather armor, um, kind of got a very weather worn hat. Um, does look like she knows her business though. Um, she has a crossbow and sword. Forget it, I'll buy it later. Um, oh, thank the gods I found you! Hello. I'm sorry, and you are? Ah, I am, uh, Ilse Fassenwutende. Yes. Uh, road sergeant. Road Sergeant. How do you spell this name? <laughs> you can read? No, I'm asking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ilse? Ilse? Yeah. I-L-S-E? Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. And Fasten? Fasten. F-A-S-S-E-N. W. U with umlauts. Yep. Uh, T-E-N-D. That's exactly how I was going to do it. and Wutten. Fass and Wutten. What did he say? Fass and Wutten. Can you spare some loops? <laughs> no. <laughs> and this is she's a robe sergeant. Yes. Okay. Uh, I have a job for you. It'll clear you from plump and plug And the whole watch. If you're interested, meet me tonight at the Exploding Pig. What are we talking about now? I'll explain everything there. Oh. Okay. With a wave, she wanders off. Is it me or are these bar names getting increasingly suspicious? <laughs> <laughs> the exploded pig. <laughs> I love pigs. You've been to the exploded pig before. So I looked down at Rosen Road and I was like, did you sense anything, boy? <laughs> <laughs> dog does not answer, because it's a dog. <laughs> So it can follow, right? Uh, sure. I give it instructions to follow the road sergeant. How are you going to call it back? I have a whistle. <laughs> oh, okay. But like, what? You, he can't come back and tell you where it went. No, but he can come back and point us where she is. Oh, okay. or where she's gone. She's going to explode the pig. That's what she said. It's more important of where she's than where she's going to be. Oh, I, I, I think you're probably just going to get your dog killed. Okay. After a while, like, you know, you finish it, then he, your yeah. dog's, like, returns. Oh, he came back alive! That's nice. He's my dog. Why wouldn't he? You're damn tasty. Gustav, <laughs> stay away from my dog. <laughs> Good Lord, Gustav. You've never had a dog before. Have no. your senses taken leave of you? Alright, so... Well, they will in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Dog's right. right tasty, it is. Uh-huh. You, you know that other skill that you never use and you probably...
probably should. Is it is it like a track or something? No. Shadow? No. This is kind of goes to all of you. A skill that we use that we Is it is there a skill that is says perception? Oh gossip. Okay, cool. I'm gonna make a gossip chat. I don't, I just I just accept on the face of it. Uh I have one degree of success. Okay. No one else? Uh, ask it around? Yeah, let's let's ask around. Uh three degrees of failure. Like lots, lots, lots of success. Yeah, there's like sixteen <laughs> two here. I, got I have nine. a fellowship of thirty. I got nine on thirty-eight, so three degrees of success. Okay. So you hear that um she is a road warden. Who's that? So she's not just a sergeant, she's a rogue She's a rogue sergeant. Rogue warrior! Okay. <laughs> Alright, so she's a sergeant within the rogue wardens. Oh, okay. The rogue wardens are... Um, wardens of the rogues, right at the end of the day. Pretty much, yeah. They're answerable to um, the elector of the, Kirk, the province, the Kirk. So that's not the Jews. No, the it's elector. The, the elector count. Alright, what did I'm sorry, can you what is what is an elector? Uh the elector count is effectively the ruler of the entire province that you're in. Yeah, he's like a governor. Right. Oh, okay. They uh hold there's nine electors across the entire empire. They're not like elected. No, they're called electors because they help elect the emperor. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. They choose so the emperor from a rank of candidates. They're the prime minister. So there are yeah. cardinals in the Catholic Church. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so road wardens work directly for the elector counts. Okay. They outrank watches. Oh. So they, this is they act, road wardens are. Their job is to patrol the roads. Oh. And the roads are very dangerous. So they keep the roads safe. Moving on. <laughs> And if we go, <laughs> she can fix our situation with the watch. With the watch. Well, she if we join, if we join the highway patrol. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know. Well, she's right, also the fixer, but that's what we're Oh god, Warhammer, super trooper. Yeah, we're doing uh, <laughs> Road warding. Um, okay, but he's far away. I've never seen it. Oh so. my god. Sorry. Uh, I, you I, have I, Lord Reckland? I do. <laughs> you do. So the electric count. The electric count for so Reckland <laughs> yeah. is the Emperor. Alright, because we are like in the heartland of Empire territory. Yeah, Reckland is so, uh, is. Yeah, so uh, Karl Franz, blessed be thy name, is uh, the electric count for this province, also known as the Emperor. Karl Franz the first. Yeah. Boy, that sounds important. So. I don't know about you lot, but I am quite interested in getting out of this shithole. No, I think, no, I, I think this is a great time. So to you time. over here, you. Um, yeah, she's uh, very dedicated to her job. She has a reputation for finishing what she starts. Uh, however, um, she was once considered the best road warden captain in the duchy. Wow. However, she was demoted after the total loss of her outfit five years ago. Ooh. No one knows why. Alright then. I, th I think she got all the other people with the killed and they demoted it. I think we should go collect our coin and go meet. I think we should go meet them, go collect our coin the following day, and get out of this hellhole. So, uh, she wants to meet you that evening. You, your puppy has arrived. My puppy has arrived. Do you, want, do you want to follow the dog and see where she went? Yes, of course. I want to use... So, <clears throat> is this one of those instances where I can use shadow with my dog? to, like, follow, like, the path that she's taken? Uh, sure. Okay. Um, if she's watching, yes. What do you mean if she's watching? Well, if she's because watching. you're following a dog, and the dog's following a, yeah, a yeah. path, right? Yeah. 
If, like, you can roll it and you shadow him. Yeah. So you cannot make either your stealth or perception test. Yep. Um, yeah. But if she's not watching and you're, you're rolling stealth for nothing, is basically yeah. what he's saying. Yeah. yeah basically. But you can follow the dog. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna obviously you know inform uh, Rosenrock to please you know walk the path <laughs> okay. uh, that he was on. Or, and yeah. Do you, do you almost him. come with you? If you want, you can, but you have to stay downwind from him. Uh, well, it's a hunting dog, so he has a scent, so he's yeah. like okay. always a scent. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. So I've, 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 Oh yeah. Okay. I so, saw. <laughs> uh, I am going to use because I have to make this choice before I roll, right? Yep. I'm going to use stealth. Okay. I rolled a nine. <laughs> uh, that I'll is back. four degrees. Four degrees of success. Okay. So the dog leads you. To a house in the docks. Do we we patrol the docks fairly frequently? Yep. Do we know whose house this is? No. Uh, I'll use gossip with some townsfolk well, some townsfolk near me and be like, "Do you know who lives in this house?" Same people you talk to and just do a better job. Did you do a better job? I don't know. I haven't rolled yet. Or gossip, you know? Fine. But I have a better charm than I do with gossip. I'll roll gossip. Does charm work? Because I have a way better charm. No. no charm no, is for an individual person. Uh, so I succeed with three degrees of success. I succeed with one degree. So, um. You guys are still the best option. Yes, I know. Maybe not. <laughs> that would have been a 90 something. No one has any idea. Hmm. Oh well, maybe we should just rent to the house. Shall, shall we go to the exploding pig? Yeah, it's, like, it's in an area. I just want to apologize for Gustav's accent. It just keeps changing every every session because I forget <laughs> what it sounded like last time. We will go to the exploding pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, just just remember the uh, yeah, the uh, <laughs> citizen from uh, Warcraft. Yeah. Uh, more work. Oh, yes, my lord. <laughs> my my favorite one is like from Dragon Quest Eight, Hero's Friend. He's like, oi, golf. <laughs> it's like it's I don't know. Whenever I see that, like whenever I play that game or watch it, I, I've played Dragon Quest Eight a lot. By the way, yeah. <laughs> um, it's just like you know. So you head to the exploding pig. That's in the merchant quarter. The exploding pig. Okay, cool. Why is it named the exploding pig? Who knows? Well, I, no, I ask around as soon as I get in. <laughs> <laughs> right, so so when we pig. arrive at the exploding pig, can I do a uh, gossip or? Well, she did say later. later. I assume we're like way yeah. early for the meeting. No, not particularly not. Oh. After following this, oh pig, yeah, yeah, that's across town, yeah. and okay. you know. Finishing your watch and stuff I'm, like that. So I'm 14 at two. What are you gossiping for, though? Pardon? What do you want to know? Just general rumors. <laughs> Gossip to find out why it's called the exploding pig. Sure. I fail. <laughs> Nobody knows. Uh, so perhaps we should just nine wait seven for our meeting to begin. Perhaps we should find somewhere to sit where we can keep an eye on all the doors. Oh no! I was a promise to pig explode. <laughs> At no point did anyone promise you an exploding pig. Go to a place called Sorry, the Exploding Pig. Like read why it's called the Exploding Pig. <laughs> <laughs> so there's an actual reason. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's find a table. Um, I'm going to sit with my back to the wall. Do well, I have, she's already in there. Sorry. Has, okay. has have, have my wounds recovered after this much of time? Can I say I have? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. On yours. All right. All right. 
I just wanted to make sure So, uh, yeah, she's in there. Um, okay, I'll let you sit down. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, so, let's get down to business. There's a prisoner. Stonemason, he is. Name of uh, Mauer. Cold bastard. Murdered many a person. Knocked a head clean off. Was tried, found guilty. Awaits execution. Old well, eh? Well, no. For good or ill, Reichland watches for signs. Holy signs. If a prisoner is scheduled for execution and something goes really wrong, the executioner stayed. Executioner's axe breaks, lightning strikes the headsman's block, it's time to reschedule. Most times, second, edu second execution gets the job done. But not always. Sometimes things go wrong. Then a third date is set, a final date. And see, if the third execution goes wrong, it is deemed to be the will of the gods intervening for an innocent, and the prisoner is set free, fully pardoned. Twice he has gone to the block. Twice he's come back. The man is evil. I know it. Think the dark gods are watching him. His final execution date is approaching, yet the poor excuse for watchmen here want no part of it. Sodden cowards. So that's where you come in. I know a clump and cloak from way back. Total scum. I asked around about you. Reckon you might want to be free of him and the watch. So here's the deal. You escort more to the block with me four days hence, and I will get your sentences commuted for servants for services above and beyond. No more death sentence, no more sergeant, crap sack clump and cloak. Free and clear, what do you say? Yes. <laughs> Would we have time to wrap up our affairs here? Or do we must leave immediately? Oh, I got no affairs. Yes. What do you mean, leave? It's in the city. Oh, yeah. So we export him from the prison to the block? Yeah. And free of yes, yes, yes. Plug my, the friend, watch. my friend, yeah. my friend, my friend to say yes. So, what are you? Are you, <laughs> are you are you seriously asking me? So here's a question: <laughs> How well do you know Clubbing Club? Well, I don't know him very well, and I know he's a scumbag. He is a scumbag, and I'm going to make him see fit. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you do your revenge thing on your own, my friend. I just won't get out from under this, uh, this death sentence bullshit. <sighs> I, last time you went on a revenge spree, you ended up on the, uh, the captain's watch list and angered a priest of Sigmar. You do that on your own, buddy. I don't want to find out Clump and Clug is friends with the Emperor and they golf on Wednesdays or something, okay? <laughs> okay, that's it's not fair. Okay. <laughs> That's actually fair. <laughs> I will have you know that Count Franz does not golf. I don't know, I'm just saying. <laughs> he plays croquet. The dwarves are going to golf. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so I want no business. <laughs> Alright, I know what I'm plot. I think you should accept the offer. Yeah, no, I've, I have already extremely accepted it. Uh, I'm at the point where I'm like, so you just want him to die, right? Like, if something goes wrong... No, okay. I want him to be executed okay. on the execution block. Okay, but like, if something goes wrong, we can just, like, hammer him until he's dead, right? Are you an executioner? Is that pay better than a watch? I mean, no, I'm not. I take it back. Uh, no. Okay. Falling. Disappointed. <laughs> so you're in? Yep. I have a condition. Oh? We know. There's a cream for it. <laughs> <laughs> what you said? Yeah, you know, maybe you shouldn't be wearing leather pants that can chafe a lot. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well? <laughs> so, my condition is this. When I first started my journey out with my companions, we all have certain paths that we must, we are choosing to take. I want to be a bounty hunter. Okay. Can you make that happen? No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes. Try. Um. 
be right back. Just keep it. Really? I'm about to take a break. Okay. Yeah. So, you can come back. Tell me Trudy's in charge of this too. <laughs> yeah, a watch. I know. I just want him to be in yeah, charge. Yeah, but what if he only like moonlights as a watch member? What if like this is his day job? Yeah. Smiting the condemned in the name of Sigmar. <laughs> I mean, honestly, <laughs> no. Uh, everything else that could have been I'm pretty sure I... every member of the watch is a piece of scum. <laughs> Lady Emmanuel Nacht. So we just have to escort this guy to the block and he gets murderized. Yep. Sweet. Anything else? No? Uh, yeah, I want to know, is, is, uh, are there applications for, uh, like, after we get this old death sentence thing done, is, is, there, is there, are you looking for recruits for the road wardens? Nope. Oh, well, all right then. Just keep me in mind for next time, yeah? I turned Australian, I don't know why. <laughs> I really apologize. <laughs> yeah. apologize. So this is good stuff, the shifting accents. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. Is there any else you wish to discuss with? Um, what is the path that we're taking to the execution block? Yeah, when, when, when I'm not going to tell you until the morning. Uh, but this plan is already pre-planned out. Nope. No? No, so no one knows other than me. Just to stop someone finding out and setting the bastard free. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. That's, that's kind of a Richard plan, you know? It is. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Um, I'm happy with that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't ask for payment or anything. It's just... No, we'll just, we'll just go, we'll along, just with go along with this. Yeah. Okay. She says she can help us, then why not? Yeah. So... And I've heard nothing bad you about it. So I want to understand that. our agreement. We help you escort him to the execution block. Yep. It's on him. You get us free. Yep. Why? Why are you doing this for us? We're no one. Well, we are pretty desperate. I mean... But I want to know, like, something's obviously... Why? Well, maybe she's just a good person. Our reputation can't be that good. I have been the soul of goodness, I will have you know. Well, what's the name of Barbara? Yeah, Barbara Troll. Well, that However was. much Rudy says he killed it. Yeah, it's true. Uh, Rudy's kind of a dick. And we tried to rescue the background. <laughs> We, we did try and rescue them merchants, you know. Even though we completely failed. Caught that up. No. So, so word around town is that, uh, you know, you help people out. And you can handle yourself in a fight. <laughs> Some of us can. And, <laughs> and I said, don't worry. Any handling of himself that he can't take care of, I have taken care of. And like I said, the watch don't want anything to do with this. So then we will be freelancing, essentially, and you get us our freedom. Yep. Very well. Yep. We shall... Does that mean that we have to go back to work? Yep. Yep. <laughs> you were more you were looking for deliverance immediately? Well, no. I mean, like, do... Is there any, like, special reassignment orders that we are given to give to well, the she's, captain? She's, looking for, or, she's oh. looking for members of the watch to do this. Nobody else is going to do it. She knows that we're, A, good people, and, B... Desperate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then she's gonna deal with the captain and Rudy and all those other things. I'm 
I take it. All right. She said I'm she down. cleared up for us. If she lied, she lied. It's Let's deliver. rock and roll. Okay. And so we're going to take our second break right here. And we'll be back in 10 minutes. You can visit online at harryt.com or drop by the store at 3456 Young Street here in Toronto. We'll do See you in 10.